Hello, thank you for tuning in. My name is Nehru, and I apologize for the background noise, but I wanted to come on. It's been, I've been uh, on the West Coast now for a couple of weeks. The last video I posted, I think, was two weeks ago, and I had just left Florida. Uh, and again, for those of you who uh, are not familiar with my journey, uh, I, uh, after 30 years of living in Florida, not counting eight years of military, uh, I relocated from Florida or to Florida at the age of 16, uh, between my two weeks before my junior year in high school started, from Illinois, from Naperville, Illinois, actually. And, uh, and so we did that because my father was wanting to change, he was wanting something new. Uh, his lifestyle had kind of cornered him, I think, at that point uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. And so he wanted a new place to live. And so I picked Florida, and that's where we ended up. Thankfully, um, I have great memories of Florida. Uh, but uh, uh, I wanted to uh, come on, one, just really just to share and uh, what I've been seeing uh, recently and the way that the Father, Holy Spirit, Divine Source has laid out things for me, I guess, uh, I guess the puzzle pieces to, to, to start to get puzzle pieces. So for those of you who are not, who do not know, uh, I've uh, ended uh, I went through a dark night of the soul for those of you who are spiritual or understand what that is. Uh, and that started uh, towards the end, maybe around this time of 2021. And uh, it was a, an extremely challenging and, and, and tough process as <laughs> the rarer the process, the more difficult it is. And so you know, for those who have made it through the dark night of the soul and uh, have had uh, their awakening, we have many awakenings, uh, then what I share will sound familiar. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, and to everyone else, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm excited about this new journey, and like I said, I literally picked up everything or not everything, actually I gave everything away. Uh, so I lived in a three bedroom, two bath uh, house in Florida and by myself with my dog. And, uh, well I shouldn't say by myself and with my dog, I guess with my dog. Uh, and so when it was in June sometime that I wrote on the calendar and I wish I had taken a picture or, or or something to share with you all. I wrote on a calendar sometime in June, I wrote, or I turned the calendar to 8-1, so August 1, and I wrote on there that uh, that, that was going to be moving day or, or, or something like that, right? Uh, and that was strictly based on my intuition and what I felt. Uh, however, that actually did come true, and on the 1st, that is when I put everything out on the curb. I had garage sale that weekend, that Saturday actually. And then on Sunday, I just started giving everything away. Uh, queen size, column bed, uh, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, uh, I think it was Broy Hill uh, bed, uh, large executive or attorney style desk. Uh, just, just, so much recliner, love seat, leather, both of them, file cabinets, pictures, uh, 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 so many things. I just literally gave the entire house away. Um, uh, I was renting, but I gave all of the household goods that I had away, dishes, everything, everything. And literally got a truck, a just a pickup truck, rented a truck because I sold my car. Uh, and sold my motorcycle and literally picked up a suitcase, my dog Sadie, 
and got in the truck and headed west. And no plans, no place of where to go or anything like that. I knew that I wanted to get out of that situation and that environment more than anything because I had already spiritually left the karmic situation that I was in, like I said, because of going through the dark night of the soul. But I really wanted to get away from them because of all the doppelgangers, the stalking, and all that sort of thing. I really wanted to just get out of that environment. Tired of them driving past the house and doing all these sorts of things. Um, and yet, they were still being stopped because of my angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my guardian angel, uh, um, whose name I will not share here because... The enemy likes to use our good for evil. So, um, and so a host of others, my Orishas, star seeds. Uh, I had help from, from my ancestors to get through that process, and they're still helping me today. Uh, Egyptian ancestors with a shamanic background is my is my spiritual bloodline. Uh, and, uh, and so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I spend most of my days all by myself, right? Um, and so getting settled here in Arizona uh, uh, is, in a lot of ways, not as challenging as I thought. So when I first got here, I got, I rented a hotel the first night, first night, second night, second night I was here, right? Uh, the first night I actually still had the rental truck, so I actually slept in the truck and then uh, and then rented a hotel room and then was able to rent the place that I'm in currently. Okay, so uh, whereas initially I didn't think I was, I thought I was going to be literally on the streets for, I don't know, a few weeks. Uh, I was blessed enough to to be able to rent this place uh, that I'm in currently. And so uh, it's, it's been good. Again, I've been here for two weeks. Um, but uh, what I want to share is just a little bit about um, comparing the natural happenings with the spiritual happenings. And I am going to use, as I typically do, I'm going to use myself as the example and my life experiences. I'm going to use the karmic relationship, or actually it was a divine relationship when I met my twin flame, but she chose to go with a karmic individual um, because of money and security, financial security. Uh, and that's just, that's not to say that I wasn't. Um, when we started dating each other, I had a six figure accounting and tax practice in Florida. But because of her spell work and evil deeds and all of that, she killed that. That's what, that was, I'm sure, once, once the pond dries up, and this is good advice here, okay? So once the pond dries up where you are, it is definitely time to pack up the carriage and relocate, okay? So this is in regards to your job. In regards to relationships, no matter what type of relationships those are, friends, uh, intimate partners, uh, when the relationship dries up, even with parents, if you're an adult son or daughter, not as a child son or daughter. Uh, so, yes. So once you're on your own and you are accountable for yourself, right, meaning you are not under anyone else's authority, uh, as far as your living situation is concerned, uh, then I encourage you to always re-evaluate, re-evaluate your friends and things. I got rid of my original Facebook page because I had a thousand plus friends in there, and and after I had gone through my started my ascension and and all of that, I already knew in 2021 that it was gonna it was there was something spiritually significant happening uh, and, uh, and it was rough. I spent days depressed without eating and I only drank water because I'm a kidney transplant recipient. Uh, and so, um, as I've stated, I wanted to be faithful over that, uh, 
Oregon, that, that family that I do not know, uh, uh, was so loving and thoughtful to uh, donate uh, their their 19 year old's kidney, right? Uh, and so very thankful to that family, wherever they are and however they are. I hope they continue to have fun memories of, of their son or daughter and I hope I'm doing them proud with with my mission and and yeah, yeah so um, so yeah so just want to briefly touch on the mirroring of the spiritual and natural and really it's not a mirroring but it's kind of an exact timing so on the outside taking into consideration my twin flame uh, and for those of you who do not know, uh, I'm a kidney transplant recipient, as I stated. She has had a kidney a kidney removed, right? So she's November 13th, I'm November 29th. That's 16 days apart. That's an eight and an eight. There's a mirror. Tax preparer she is, and a paralegal, uh, or was. I'm not sure what she does today. Uh, um, or even if she's empl employed, my understanding is actually that she's not. Um, and so, uh, and that's just by spiritual intuition. I don't keep in touch with any of her friends or her family. She'll probably listen to this video um, because she attracts my social media. So anyway, um, so if you do watch this or listen to this, I hope you're doing well and all the best to you. Uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I have no ill will or malice or vengeance or anything towards you. Karma is taking care of all of that. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so, yes, so there was a lot of mirroring going on between her and I, right? I, I'm a tax accountant or was a tax accountant for 13 years and was when I met her. Again, as I mentioned, I had a six-figure... Um, uh, accounting practice that I had started just a year prior to us meeting each other. So I had grown it to more than a hundred grand in just that short period of time. Uh, and so, uh, in fact, it was right at a year, right about a year. Uh, and so, uh, but again, all that dried up once I started to see her. And again, I was so, so enamored with the, the mask uh, because she had not had childhood things that had healed and unbeknownst to me at that time, I had not either. And so the dark night of the soul comes or the opportunity comes and often it comes through twin flame relationships. It comes because there is something in us that needs to be awakened again. Something that was, was destroyed by our parents, childhood, circumstances that were out of our control. Most often they deal with childhood because as an adult, we grow up not realizing how our childhood, when we are innocent and really are at the, the disposal of the adults and guardians, teachers around us, uh, because we cannot physically provide for ourselves, uh, we are at their, at their disposal, use, whatever word you want to use. Um, uh, uh, and so started dating her in 2019 we got engaged she was either engaged married when we started seeing each other or she started seeing someone after we started seeing each other and either got engaged to them also or married them one or the other one one of those two different situations okay um uh, she also listens to tarot readers because she wants to find out what's going on in my life. Uh, and so for those of you who also follow tarot readers, um, if you've come across a, a, a Sagittarius or Leo uh, versus a, which is a, di uh, a di di divine feminine, excuse me, divine feminine uh, in my case, uh, to a divine masculine that's 
uh, been lying, doing fraud, uh, uh, pregnant, uh, uh, insurance fraud, uh, all those sorts of things. Um, part of those things are my story. And obviously with tarot readers, you need to allow to flow in what naturally resonates with you and then remove what doesn't. So throw out all the garbage that doesn't. And it's not garbage, it's garbage for you. But to someone else, it might be a prize. But don't try to make yourself fit into those situations, okay? That's one of the dangers with tarot readers or getting tarot readings. But they get those readings on me, right? And so, um, so anyway, I get no readings on her. I'm not interested in whatsoever. The only information I get from her is through my own readings. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, so anyway. So in the natural, it was a divine. It was a divine union, ordained by the Father. She was the original selection. We spent many other lifetimes together in the past. I actually believe she unalived me in my last lifetime. I actually believe that. Um, uh, I'm fairly certain of that, actually. And, uh, and actually around this same age, which is why I had to go through this process again in order to, because that's what happens. That's what karma does. It sends you through the same processes until you get it, right? It keeps showing up wearing a different pair of pants or a skirt until you get the lesson. That's what karma does. Although we see people, human beings, men and women, it's actually karma and life lessons showing up through those individuals. So now that I've gotten that last le that left life lesson, hallelujah, and that bloodline has been cleansed, my ancestors are rejoicing, it's a celebration, we're partying um, spiritually and knowing that that door has been closed. But spiritually, what was going on was she was involved with the karmic and that karmic spirit was jealous of me, right? Uh, and I'm not a millionaire. I don't have, today I don't have six figures in the bank. Um, uh, uh, I don't have, today at this moment, in my spiritual bank I have billions, but any day now that's going to transfer over to the natural and that's a true statement um, so yes so but she was jealous and then she again was money focused um, the individual that I was dating she's also bisexual uh, and I did not know this when we were dating um, however uh, it's been made known to me uh, that she is bisexual and <clears throat> I believe the individual that she was connected to, the karmic divine mas the karmic masculine, they're not divine masculine, the karmic masculine is located in North Carolina, I believe around Charlotte, North Carolina. I remember when we were together, her telling me that she had a friend that she would take trips up there to see her parents are from Ohio, so her dad still lives there. She would take trips up there and I hadn't, it was okay, I didn't want to go on those trips. Um, I never thought anything about it because, you know, you go on a trip, especially that long of a drive, you know, you, you can stop other places along the way to visit family, friends, close friends. You want to do that. So I was naive in that fact, I guess. Uh, and I guess I, I really had no reason to think about any. She told me about a friend who was, uh, uh, I can't remember going from male to female, female to male. I can't, I can't remember which, but anyway, um, so she's a closet bisexual, the one that I was engaged to, the divine, divine masculine, who is now probably, probably a fallen angel uh, because repentance did not come and Yahweh Yeshua, divine source, creator of all things, gave her enough time in order to get these things together. And, and, and close out that cycle in her life and repent of those things. <clears throat> um, if it's a guy, she's pregnant or she's given birth to a child if she did not have an abortion 
I am not for abortion, by the way. All, all, all life receives their breath from the Father. So I don't, I don't care what anyone else says, regardless of the situation. Someone can grow up to be the president of the United States and bring about great change, and they could come from a, from a, R.A.P.E. situation. Um, again, all life matters. All life matters. Uh, and so, uh, or go on to great other things. They don't have to be president of the United States. They could be president of Cuba and turn that place into a, uh, a democracy. You know what I mean? Anything, anything. All life matters. All life. Uh, so, um, so she has, so if it's a male, she's either pregnant, had an abortion, or has given birth to a child. And ironically, we're both in our 40s, <clears throat> but I know I have a promised child coming. Uh, and that's going to be with my divine counterpart. Okay? And so, whoever that is, I haven't met anyone and I've been celibate for a, quite some time now. So, um, uh, yes. So, um, once I started this, this, the, the dark night of the soul process, um, intimacy was out. And I really went into a hermit mode and was uh, really in solitude. I worked from home, fortunately, in solitude. Uh, when I was in Florida, I worked from home uh, in solitude for probably eight months. Uh, getting through that through that process and, and, and ascending and, and, and uh, that and becoming who I spiritually am today as an ascended master. Uh, and so spiritually, this individual who she was with is a karmic individual. And so because she actually fell in love with me, which was not her intention. Her intention, the individual I was dating, her intention was, the divine masculine, was to just have fun. She probably has a sex addiction, right? Um, and this is the reason why she's bisexual. So anyone who is bisexual, they want it desire it from any angle that they any anywhere they can right they might even get into strange activities with animals and things of that nature which is disturbing to think of to say the least or kids or right those with sex addictions right so uh again just as just as disturbing as as the animals are the kids that's just so anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so the divine feminine has a sex addiction, uh, as I understand it today, and possibly pregnant or had an abortion or gave birth to a child. Right? But spiritually speaking, what was happening um, in the 5D was her being, her divine masculine nature, her being crowned my divine counterpart, my twin flame, right? Uh, me having a shamanic bloodline, right? We were supposed to come together and bring about the great change that my divine counterpart and I will bring about. Okay? So, when the divine masculine decided that she was going to leave me and choose the karmic for money and, and fortune and fame or whatever she was seeking, then what that did was also turn her karmic and bring negative karma, bad karma, judgment karma upon her and the karmic and her family members. So this individual is a Scorpio, I'm a Sagittarius. <clears throat> her mother's a Scorpio, her best friend's a Scorpio. She may have been intimate with her best friend, uh, I'm not sure, uh, who's also a female. Um, I don't know when the birthday of the trans vestite, I don't know when their birthday is. Uh, and I apologize if that word offends anyone, but yeah, I also say homosexual, 
because gay means happy. So if you find offense with that, then I don't know what to say to you. You can, I don't know, go get a dictionary and look up the definitions. So, um, and the first definition. Don't be reading the third and fourth definition of what the words mean. The first definition is the best definition. So, so yes. So, <clears throat> I don't know when the transvestite's birthday is. It There's a good chance it's scorpionic too, just because of the nature of it. And if it's not, then they're a Libra or uh, perhaps, okay? Um, or strong Capricorn. So anyway, um, yes. So spiritually, that's what was happening. So she's making de decisions in the natural to ignore me, to block me, and all of these things. However, spiritually, the reason these things are happening is because she chose someone else over me. And so one of the things that we have to keep in mind is that life is happening for us. And so, yes, I spent months fighting for that relationship before I went into the dark night of the soul. <clears throat> and I did that blindly, not realizing that, yes, even though she was mine, she had already made another decision, and I was knocking on the door that had already been closed. And she and whoever else was already on the other side of that door, and I couldn't get in anymore. And she wasn't opening the door to come back onto my side anymore, all right? And so I encourage us to look at the, the, the natural side and the spiritual side of things that are happening in our lives. So in the natural, you might lose your job today, but spiritually, that company might be going out of business and they did not disclose that information to you, or there's another opportunity that's better lined up for you. Perhaps that opportunity had run its course. Maybe you were within yourself already dried up, right? Like like Florida had for me because of all this witchcraft and spell work and karmics and all that sort of thing that I was dealing with. Maybe it had dried up and become a desert place to you. But you're looking at it from a what am I gonna do financially situation and I encourage you to change your perspective and thank the father for your time at that place of employment the friends uh, that will can friendships that will continue and that but to release that job and release that position one so that someone else can fill it and be happy in it because that is now someone else's opportunity that they can be excited about and two to open the door or 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 clean the chair the seat polish up the chair seat next to you so that that opportunity to or person if it's a relationship that this pertains to so that that opportunity or person can sit down in that seat next to you and you can begin that new journey that new chapter that new book okay so again you've been listening to the encourager uh i hope this has been encouraging to you continue to stay in alignment in regards to your chakras if you are feeling any sort of energetic attacks, this is the number one way to combat these, is to do chakra meditations, okay? So if you are feeling weak, lacking confidence, do some uh, solar plexus chakra meditations. Go outside, ground yourself, right? I'm probably going to go outside today. It's great in Arizona, the weather is awesome minus the humidity of Florida. Humidity here is like 12%. Um, Florida's like 110%. <laughs> uh, um, and so, at least this time of year it is. Um, and so, uh, so if you are feeling uh, sexual uh, energy and feeling extra prom promiscuous, if you will, or if you're having a hard time with celibacy, then do some some uh, sacral chakra meditations. Uh, 
and again, go outside. And again, the root chakra is also associated with the sacral chakra in regards to grounding yourself. Uh, and so go outside, hug a tree, lay on the ground, play in dirt. <laughs> Just go out, lay out on the patio or what have you. All right. And again, uh, be encouraged and know that life is happening for you. It's not happening to you. Uh, life is not against you. Anything that you come against, life is literally like a, like a, I'm picturing a vacuum cleaner, not, not like the old uprights, but the iRobot type of vacuum cleaners. And every time you run into something, right, you run into a roadblock, just, it's life changing your direction. Just, okay, stop for a minute, say, okay, what's my next step? As life tries to edge us towards being the truest purest most highest or highest most highest is bad english highest forms or versions of ourselves and that's why i've created this page to help you and myself get there thank you so much for listening my name's nehru tune in again thank you for your subscriptions and follow us